tax free weekend is just under a month away, but for many school districts in East Texas, the first day of school is before that. And that includes Lufkin ISD. This year, the school district is continuing to provide most of the school supplies students need. Our Jesus Martinez joins us now from Lufkin with how the school district and community members are assisting families with back to school. In a school district of about 7,000 students. So it's about 86%. Nearly 90% of them are considered to be economically disadvantaged. As a trend, Lufkin ISD spokesperson Sheila Adams has seen since COVID. You know, it was difficult for parents to get out and to go shopping and to find school supplies. And of course, then we wore uniforms, things like that. Which is why the district got rid of school uniforms altogether. Just makes it more comfortable. They don't have to go out and buy a lot more clothing for the new school year. That, on top of providing a majority of the school supplies, is what's helping families in Lufkin ISD when it comes to budgeting for the new school year. So it's very minimal what parents need to provide, and we live in such an amazing giving community that there are all kinds of events that um, people are getting together to provide those extra necessities. So it's the 13th year of Back to School Bonanza. It benefits families in need in Angelina County. Caroline Leslie Oates, chair for the event, says this is the most number of families they've had pre-registered in their 13 years, highlighting the need in Angelina County. So within those 626 families, it's 1,447 students. That's a little over more than 100 families served last year. If you didn't have a chance to pre-register, you still have an opportunity to come and receive the same items, and so we can serve about 1,000 on Saturday. And behind me, you'll find a pile of hundreds and hundreds of backpacks. Inside, you'll find your typical school supplies like crayons, pencils, markers, and notepads, all ready for this weekend's event. Thank you so much, Jesus. This event is just for families in Angelina County. We'll have more details on our website, cbs19.tv.